Welcome to today's Odyssey. What if I told you that in the near future, you could fly from New York to Paris in 90 minutes or from Los Angeles to Tokyo in three hours on a plane that uses less fuel and emits less carbon than today's airliners? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, not according to NASA and its industry partners, who are working on some radical new sustainable aircraft designs that could transform air travel as we know it. In this video, I will show you how NASA and its partners are developing these next-generation aircraft concepts that could make flight more sustainable, faster, and cheaper by the 2030s. Now, let's dive into the details on these futuristic flyers that could one day whisk us around the planet in style. One of NASA's most ambitious sustainable flight projects is the Sustainable Flight Demonstrator being developed in collaboration with Boeing. This program aims to build and test fly a full-scale prototype plane incorporating advanced technologies that could drastically improve efficiency. The core innovation is called the transonic truss-braced wing. This design uses long, thin wings stabilized by diagonal struts connecting to the aircraft body. By optimizing the wing shape, NASA and Boeing aim to create an airframe with much less drag compared to current single-aisle planes. This reduction in drag translates to lower fuel consumption and emissions. Based on preliminary analysis, NASA estimates this concept could reduce fuel use and emissions by up to 30% compared to the most efficient planes flying today. That's a massive improvement. However, the exact performance is still to be validated through extensive ground and flight testing. The plan is for Boeing to build the full-scale demonstrator vehicle called the X-Plane and conduct the first test flight in 2028. The goal is to then incorporate findings from this prototype into next-generation commercial airliners in the 2030s. There are still many open questions about the transonic truss-braced wing design. The safety, stability, and control characteristics need to be verified through simulations and real-world tests. Additionally, the certification and regulatory requirements for such an unconventional plane have yet to be determined. But if NASA and Boeing can overcome these hurdles, this demonstrator could pave the way for much more sustainable commercial flight. The potential to reduce aviation's carbon footprint by 30% is an exciting prospect. Now, let's move on to another project that NASA is working on to make flight more sustainable. Hybrid electric airplane engines. Hybrid electric engines combine jet engines with electric motors and batteries. This allows some of the power to come from electricity instead of jet fuel. NASA is partnering with GE Aviation and Boeing to test these hybrid systems. They are going to take an existing turboprop plane and outfit it with hybrid electric engines. Then NASA will run extensive tests on the ground and in flight to see how the engines perform. The plan was to start these flight tests in the mid-2020s. The goal is to eventually use hybrid electric systems on real passenger planes, carrying 30 to 70 passengers by 2035. The potential emissions reductions are still uncertain, but early NASA studies suggest fuel savings of 12 to 15 percent. Hybrid engines could allow things like using the electric motor for takeoff and climb, then switching to the jet for cruising. There are also ideas for designs where the electric motors help turn the jet fans. The technology has a lot of promise, but still needs more development. The engines have to work reliably at high altitudes and meet safety standards. But NASA and its partners believe hybrid electric propulsion could be an important part of creating greener, more sustainable air travel in the future. Finally, let's talk about some startups that have even bolder visions that seem almost like science fiction. One example is Hermias Corporation, a U.S.-based startup aiming to develop a small hypersonic passenger jet that could fly at over 3,000 miles per hour. That's over four times faster than modern commercial jets. 
To put it in perspective, Hermias wants to build a plane that could fly from New York to London in just 90 minutes. Compare that to the seven hours on a typical flight today. This would be an incredibly complex and expensive endeavor. Some skeptics doubt whether it's technologically feasible or economically viable anytime soon. But Hermias believes it can leverage expertise from the hypersonic weapons and space launch industries to make this radical concept a reality. The company has gained funding from NASA and private investors. So could hypersonic travel be the future of sustainable aviation? Or is this an unrealistic pipe dream? What sacrifices would we need to make to fly at such outrageous speeds? Let's take a closer look at the Hermias proposal and the major challenges it faces. Hermias aims to build a small hypersonic jet that can fly at over 3,800 miles per hour, or Mach 5. This is over five times faster than modern passenger jets. To reach these outrageous speeds, radical advances in aerospace technology would be needed. Some of the major challenges Hermias faces include propulsion. Existing jet engines can't handle Mach 5 flight. Hermias needs to develop new scramjet engines that use supersonic airflow for combustion. This is extremely complex. Materials. The intense heat and forces at hypersonic speeds require special materials that are durable, lightweight, and resistant to high temperatures. These don't exist yet. Aerodynamics. Controlling stability and maneuverability gets increasingly difficult the faster you fly. New designs and control systems are required. And environment, hypersonic flight, could produce sonic booms that disturb communities below. High-altitude emissions also have to be considered. Hermias is still in the early stages of development. So far, it has tested some small-engine prototypes, but even full-engine tests won't happen until 2024. The timeline for an actual passenger-carrying hypersonic jet is highly uncertain. The economic viability is also dubious. Development costs would be astronomical. Operator and maintenance costs may be prohibitive, too. And it's unclear if there is enough passenger demand to support regular hypersonic flights. While hypersonic travel could revolutionize aviation, huge breakthroughs are still needed to make this a practical reality. Hermias has ambition, but faces an uphill battle. We likely won't be zipping across the globe at Mach 5 anytime soon, and so it will likely take many years before we see futuristic new planes entering airline service. But it's exciting to imagine that radical greener designs could transform aviation in the coming decades. What do you think the future of flight should look like? How much priority should we place on sustainability versus speed and convenience? What trade-offs would you be willing to make as a passenger to reduce aviation's environmental impact? This is a complex issue with many trade-offs to consider. Please share your thoughts on how we can and should reshape air travel for a greener future. We did a great job at destroying the planet, so let's try to help it for once. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.